Hello everyone and welcome to the game Win That War, the first game by the game company Insane Unity, which is a French company. Uh, we're going to look at this uh, game for a bit and uh, let's see what it is. Uh, this game is an uh, MMO RTS and in this case the, the game can really call itself an MMO. Uh, there have been a lot of games that have called themselves MMO RTS. Uh, RTS of course stands for real time strategy game. <laughs> In case you are not familiar with the term. Um, but this game really has the right to call it itself uh, an MMORTS. Uh, we're going to look at uh, why this is. Of course, uh, there is the standard tutorial mode, which is just uh, a one versus one against uh, bots. Uh, you also have the standard multiplayer mode, which is just uh, a short battle against other players. But the thing that's really interesting is the Galactic Campaign. So we are going to press this, uh, quick loading screen, and then we are uh, seeing a planet. And this is what it's all about. Uh, the idea is basically to just uh, take over every area on this planet. And you can see that there's a lot of areas. Uh, I am on the blue faction. You can see that there's uh, pins in the this section where I uh, am in control. Uh, my unit is currently on the ground there. And this one where I already have deployed a unit, which I will be controlling further during this video. Uh, you can see that uh, it's currently the red faction that is, uh, has most territory. Uh, green actually does not have a single territory right now. Uh, there's not a lot of people going for green. There are some, but most are picking red or blue. Um, so how do you control an area? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, you just deploy a unit somewhere. Uh, and as long as your faction is bigger than the other factions, uh, you are in control of that area. You can see that in this area I'm the only player who's, uh, who has a base there, so it's my area. Uh, now when you log off, uh, your base can actually stay on the planet. You can also decide to uh, retreat your units, but you can also decide to leave your units there. Uh, if you do, the AI will take over and try to defend your base. Uh, the AI is currently not very good yet, uh, however they have stated that they are currently working on improving the uh, capabilities of the AI. Uh, you can see in this uh, little picture that there's a tree versus tree versus tree is the possibility. Um, so from every uh, faction three players can join. Uh, I was talking about that I have units in this sector and in this sector, that is because if I go to profile you can see that I can have up to eight armies and I can have some customization you can see that my spawn squad one uh, has the most units and is most specialized you can see that I have unlocked uh, the air factory as well as the demolitions lab I can uh, deploy planes and artillery uh, I haven't unlocked this path yet on any of my uh, my armies um, because it costs uh, in-game money, uh, there are no microtransactions, so every money that you have uh, needs to be earned in-game uh, simply by playing. <clears throat> uh, we are actually going to look at Spawn Squad 2 in this video mostly. Uh, Spawn Squad 1 has already been deployed somewhere else. So uh, we will not be looking at, unfortunately not be looking at the, the more advanced units in this battle. Um, interesting about this game is that you can deploy your units at any moment. Uh, it doesn't matter if the enemy has been deployed there for two hours already. You can just jump in and join the battle. This makes it very dynamic and this is what really makes it an MMO feeling. Because you are not really limited by uh, single battles. While it, the battles are instanced, you have a lot of freedom when you will join. Uh, you can join against a fully operational enemy. Um, but you can also decide, hey, there's only one enemy in this area. Let's just join there with two friends and make it a 3 versus 1 and take it quickly. So that makes it really dynamic and really gives it the uh, MMO feeling. Rather than just having to fight one battle over territory. Which is very staged because you all start with the same resources, the same units. Uh, but this game just give, it takes it one step further. And that's why I say this is a true MMO RTS, which is something that's so hard to find. Uh, we are going to jump into this area now. I've uh, rambled on long enough. Like I said, I have already done some preparation, so I have a small base already. Uh, I will go over the building uh, sites for a moment. You can see that I also have uh, scouted the area already a bit with uh, this unit. It's a uh, diplomat, which is the scouting unit in this game. 
Uh, their main base is over here. At least I haven't properly scouted it yet. But seeing how many uh, electricity uh, facilities it has, I assume it's a main base. Uh, there's a small base over here and a small base over here. Uh, you can have up to four small bases and of course only one main base. Um, these small bases can simply help you uh, generate more resources. So we're going to take a look at uh, our base. You can see that I have uh, built nine electric... I'm going to sound a little bit softer. There we go. Um, oh wait, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can see that I already have uh, built 9 generators, which uh, con uh, create energy. Uh, I also have 3 uh, crystal factories, which generate sharp crystal. And then there's a third one, which is glowing fluid, which can be used for uh, more advanced units. Now, I cannot build more advanced units in this uh, with this army, so I'm not going to spend too much time uh, finding more uh, fl glowing fluid. Uh, by the way, when you... Uh, place your base you only have this building with some starting units which for me was uh, one light tank one diplomat and four engineers which are your building units uh, furthermore I've uh, built some turrets over here uh, a radar which will help uh, increase the visibility you can see this entire lighted up area is physical visible because of uh, this radar and I've built a factory, which will be used to uh, build things. You will notice that this is not increasing my resources. Um, it's a very, um, what's it called, Supreme Commander-like game. Where everything you build consumes energy and materials over time. So you will be building a lot of units into a loop. Um, because that's, that's simply the way the game works. You don't build one loose unit and then it subtracts the total amount of resources it just keeps uh, removing your resources over time uh, when we zoom out a little bit like I said you can build secondary bases you can build them best at these nodes which are sharp crystal nodes or these nodes which are oil nodes now normally I would deploy a base over here to uh, get three crystals and four uh, glowing fluids but since I cannot use glowing fluids for this battle, I'm not going to. Let's uh, select my engineers now and let's go s do something useful. Uh, these are relay antennas. I will go, let me just go over the uh, structures real fast. Uh, this is the generator, which I was talking about earlier, generates uh, electricity. You can just build it anywhere. Uh, the crystal extractor has to be built on top of uh, resource nodes. Uh, the same goes for the fluid pump. Uh, the relay antenna is like an outpost. Uh, only buildings uh, created inside the, the area of a relay antenna can be really used. Uh, if they are outside of the area of a relay antenna or of the main base, they are not operational. So it's always good when you attack a base to focus on the antenna or the main base to just take out everything they have. Uh, then you have the ground factory, which of course uh, produces basic units. You have the air factory, which I currently cannot create. Uh, it of course gen creates air units. You have the radar, which creates uh, a wide uh, view of area. Uh, a base basic turret, which is uh, anti-vehicle, anti-ground troops. We also have the anti-air turret, name speaks for itself. And a machine gun turret, which is a cheaper variant of the normal turret. Um, but it also is less effective, of course. I also cannot build that. Then you also have advanced buildings. You have the demolitions lab. Uh, which allows you to build heavy tanks and heavy artillery. And you also have advanced turrets, which are simply the heavy turret and the artillery turret. And there's a trap, and that's not <laughs> useful right now, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. Let's quickly give an order, because I'm still not doing that. There we go. There we go. So that's building right now. Uh, let's shortly go over the unit composition. Uh, you have the diplomat, which is your scout. The engineer, which is your basic builder. Then there's the buggy, which is a very fast unit, but uh, not very strong. You have the light tank, which is the, the most common unit. You have the missile launcher, which at this moment, unfortunately, is also locked. Uh, it's basically a small artillery unit. It has a bit more range than the tank. 
uh, and has more area of effect damage. And there's the air kno knocker, which just takes down air units. Uh, like I said, there's also advanced uh, tank and advanced artillery. Uh, there is uh, bombers and there is fighters. Uh, so not a lot of units yet. Uh, I assume that they will expand on those units. At least I hope so. Um, but that might take a while. Uh, it, it's still in early access, so it could take a while before, uh, yeah, before everything is being finalized. Uh, there's also a couple of bugs. Uh, I, I won't go over them. Um, but there's just a lot of things that need to be sorted out still. Uh, I tend to just make a lot of factories. That's the best way to uh, get a base or uh, an army up and running. Uh, this does always take some time. Please. All my units are doing something right now. It give me nine factories. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to start with some buggies and I'm going to loop them by pressing L and then I'm going to try and take down this base. I do see it has some turrets. I might just make some tanks but I'm going to try it first with some buggies just, uh, just to show some different units. This one is uh, already producing. You can see that they are rolling out really fast. This is three units already from the same building. Um, so once I get a lot of these structures finished, it will go very, very fast. Uh, I will expand a bit more once I'm done with these factories. Um, I will probably take these four nodes. And generally, there's either three nodes or four nodes. And of course, four nodes is more than three nodes. So we j tend to take uh, four nodes. I will already send this one build a relay antenna. Oh, there we go. And then we're just going to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, they are almost uh, done, all of them. And you can see that my army is uh, growing steadily. Uh, you might wonder why there is a diplomat over here. Uh, there is actually an enemy army in this area. Um, you can set, like I just pointed out, you can set a rally point, and I assume that this is his rally point. Which does mean that his uh, main base is quite undefended, but I will probably engage this army at some point anyway, just just because I can. I think they are all finished, so let's send them over here and help build that structure. As soon as I've given out my orders, I will... Uh, I will send out my buggies. And I might change my... Um, oh, I need to do that. But you know what? I'm just going to uh, do it like this. I'm going to build four tanks. Which means that they will be building four tanks and then one buggy. Because it's uh, annoying to have to go through all of them to uh, stop creating buggies. It will be locked to number one. This is unit number one. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing that uh, awful song. <laughs> and I'm just going to build some more factories over here. I see I'm getting uh, low on energy. So I might actually build some more of these first. But as you can see, I'm starting to get notifications. Insufficient energy. Now I could stop producing these two, then goes a bit slower down, but uh, for today, I don't care. <laughs> the enemy, uh, I actually haven't stated that yet. Uh, this is clearly an enemy that is not playing today. Uh, he is AFK, or he's probably just locked off. Um, so we don't really have to worry about the real enemy. It's uh, going back uh, normal again. So I assume that we have succeeded in uh, building some generators. So we're going to start the attack. Uh, this is actually uh, going quite well. I noticed that these uh, towers are going down quickly. My buggies are taking down everything. You can see that it's a very simple base. It's really uh, made for production of the crystal extractors, as you can see here. And there it goes already. That's really fast. We still have enough units, so I'm going to send them over here. and. Uh, Continue the assault. I'm actually going to send them here first. 
Uh, when you send them very uh, long distance, they tend to go into a very thin row, uh, which enemy turrets really like. So I try to always make sure they are bunched up a bit in a good... Uh, yeah, in, a, in, a, in a, a, a bit of the thicker line, so it's just uh, easier for them to attack. Oh. Okay, there's an enemy tank patrolling there. Uh, the enemy AI does do something, but it's so little that it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't really count. So let's build some more factories here. So we can uh, build a massive army. Just roll over the enemy. Boy, this is becoming a way too long video, which I fear it already is. Uh, I am getting a bit limited here. Not sure. What, oh, there is a. It's a bit difficult to see, but uh, when you can't build somewhere, it gives a uh, small red square. Uh, but see my, I, seeing I am a little bit colorblind, I can sometimes uh, not really see it that well. But this should be enough to build uh, a nice little army. Not sure what it means when it's yellow, to be honest. Especially not when it's partially. Green is partially yellow. Okay, this is not going to fit anymore. So you can just help over there. My army is in position now. Let's engage the enemy. Over here we will start uh, pumping some tanks. We will send them uh, quite a bit of a distance. Of course we need to loop them as well. Uh, units are quite slow. So it's always a smart idea to... Uh, Oh, they have a second base here. To uh, set a good uh, point to move to. That's one base. Let's see if we can take the second as well. In this case, I might actually deploy the tactic of just taking down this tower. So that uh, the gun turrets will stop shooting. And I should be fine. Yeah. As you can see, they are no longer firing at my remaining forces. Only 12 left now. Going to use them as a bit of scouting units to see if they have uh, any more bases here in this area. Uh, while I am preparing my main forces to uh, take on their main forces. I have already scouted the southern part so I know that he's not there. Well as this part over here. But I have found another base. Doesn't look like it's too well defended. Um, he can't reach me. So I'm fine taking down this tower. And I will be taking down this base as well. Uh, that means that I have taken down four bases. Which as you can see over here is the maximum amount of bases that a player can have. Oh but he is not happy with me. See some movement over here. We will be launching our main assault on the enemy uh, units very soon. These are all finished as well, except for one of them. Make sure it also finishes up for some extra unit production. Um, I'm getting a message that I've reached my maximum unit amount. Uh, you can create up to 250 units and buildings. So building also stands for one unit. Um, yeah, and once that's full, then you can no longer build anything. Uh, it's time to attack. So let's see what this army can do. It uh, can get a bit laggy, it still needs some uh, optimization. Wow, it's very laggy right now. Zoom out a little bit. Might be because I'm also filming. Maybe I should turn off the quality a little bit. I have no idea what SMAA means, but I am turning it to low. Let's see if it the speed a little bit. I'm not sure if it does it instantly or I have to uh, restart the game first. Uh, it's it's still an early access so it will improve over time. Let's uh, take a look at his main base as well while we're at it. I have uh, lost this battle. He had uh, more uh, tanks than I did. Uh, but because I took out his uh, supporting bases he might have a decreased uh, building speed 
There goes my last buggy. If it uh, takes too long, you know what? I'm going to actually... Uh, these... Oh, picking all of them. That's not what I wanted. I want these bases to actually start sending units uh, to this area so I can just flank around and uh, destroy his base without having to face his army. Actually going to the minus again with electricity. Build two more of these uh, electricity stations. And then we just have to wait again. Uh, you notice that currently it's not a very uh, active game. I don't really have to do that much. Uh, but this is simply because uh, he's not an active player. He's just an AI. And like I said, the AI needs improvement. And it will probably uh, be improved over time. Uh, I don't know when. Uh, devs have not specified. But I assume that it will improve over time. Uh, I could also build a another base. But I don't really need it because my production is already fast enough. And uh, I am running even in energy and crystal. Uh, of course, this would be a lot easier if I had advanced units. Um, but I currently do not have the funds or the desire to really uh, expand my second army. But this should be enough for a second try. Let's just send them in. And this is also becoming a nice little army. So I'm going to send it forward as well. See if I can uh, already do some damage. Uh, they have rebuilt their army as well, I think. Uh, so it's a big bunch of uh, units over there. Uh, I think I will be losing it again. Which is fine, because uh, sooner or later I will break him. I hope that he uh, is down in production speed. Uh, because he just doesn't have the uh, materials anymore like I do. So I assume that uh, it actually looks like I'm winning already. Yeah, it's, uh, I have destroyed this first army. Oh, we, oh there comes more. <laughs> I might have cheered a bit too, uh, too soon. Uh, we have a good 26 tanks there. We are going to use to uh, just push down the center. Uh, straight into his base. Might need to retreat these units. Warm up again. We'll lose some in the process, but units are very cheap in this game. Uh, you don't really feel much of a connection to them, so you just uh, rebuild them as soon as possible. There we go. We are going for his uh, generators, which, uh, if I did destroy all of these, it should severely reduce his capabilities to uh, build more. Uh, he does have a lot of them, so he can lose a few. But we are doing some uh, good damage. Oh, close. Guilty close. I just want these nine factories and he's also uh, grabbing, some, grabbing some factories from that group. I want to just uh, move these units a bit closer. These units are still uh, going strong, so I'm just going to re reinforce them. Looks like uh, he is running out of generators. Uh, as soon as I have destroyed his main base, uh, the battle is over. So uh, you can be very, very sneaky. Uh, yesterday I had a battle where the enemy actually was stronger than I am. And in secret I just built about uh, 16 bombers. He had no air defenses. And I just straight sent them into uh, at, at his main base while his army was engaging my army. And he, had, he, he left the battle because... Uh, that's the best way to get uh, rewards in money. I will actually zoom in. This should be it. And you can see everything is gone. Um, like I said, you uh, or like I said, I just used bombers to completely wipe out his main base, and he fled the area uh, before I could destroy his base because that gives the most credits uh, rewards if your base is still intact. Uh, but that was that was so awesome because he he would have beaten me in a straight up fight. But because of that tactical maneuver with the bombers, I, I could take out his base. Um, so I'm finished here. Uh, I don't actually want to keep my army air. I want to uh, use it somewhere else. So I'm going to press escape. 
And then you can set here, uh, let AI defend your base and get back to the planet, which is, uh, well, the planet's overview, of course. Or I can uh, retrieve my spawn squad and uh, get back to the planet. Uh, that means I will lose control over this planet again, but for now that is fine for me. I just wanted to uh, get rid of this enemy. Let's press that. Uh, takes me eight sec more seconds. You can see unable to create more, so I've reached my uh, unit limit again. But I could also just leave my base here, and uh, if a new player would join, then it would go into combat again. You can see it's uh, grey now again. I have one, but uh, it doesn't belong to anyone anymore. Uh, I'm going to end the video over here. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the new next video. Bye-bye.